Hi fellow dog fans here, welcome back to a new video. This one doesn't exactly follow the chronological order on the life and adventures of Eris the Whippet Pup and that's because uh, it actually covers events from last weekend. Last time I told you that I will take you to a dog show with me and that's exactly what I'm going to do today and next week we'll be back to the chronological order on the series about Eris. Just a quick note for new viewers, I'm Adriana, Adi for short. I am owned by eight whippets and I've had whippets for 15 years. So I make breed specific videos and sometimes others on uh, random dog and animal related topics. If that's your type of content, you want to learn more about the breed, or you want to be assured that you're not alone in your love and passion for whippets, you can support the channel by subscribing and join our growing whippet family. Let's get right into the video because I have so much to show you. First things first, we had to get puppy ready for the show and we start with the nails. Short, well-maintained manicure is a must for every dog in my opinion, no matter if they'll go to a show or not. Lucky for me, she doesn't mind having her nails trimmed so I can take care of them myself with no extra help and do it quickly and whenever I want. Okay. Now let's pack my trusty show bag. Keep in mind there's just a tiny portion of the luggage we're taking this weekend, but I thought the rest will be boring and not worth showing. Now I have to prepare the show bag which uh, is nothing special, but contains some of the most important things with, with, without which we can't go to a show. Starting with the show leads, uh, you may or may not know that uh, dog shows require a completely different type of leash than the one that you usually use to walk your dog. And this weekend we're only taking Eris to a show and that's her lead. It's a type of a choke lead, a very thin one, but the dog is not supposed to pull anyway uh, while being at the show, if they're trained well. And of course it has purple bling bling. I have two more things here that are important and they assist me in keeping my dog focused on me. And that is a squeaker from a destroyed squeaky toy, which I will not squeak with right now because I have audience and this is rabbit fur which whippets go crazy about so that's a check we have our show leads prepared I have two more things I have this turtle which you might have seen in one of the videos on Eris when we went to a show it those squeaks I will not squeak it and I have more rabbit fur here it has bonus points because it has a squeaker. And then here we have a bunch of stuff that probably need to be reorganized, but I'm not going to do it for this show now. We have more show leads, different types of show leads. Uh, it doesn't hurt to have a backup sometimes in case a show lead breaks or if I have to borrow uh, a lead or help out a friend, uh, etc. This is Eris's document. So we have her passport and a, a copy of her pedigree. In this folder here, I keep um, previous critiques from past shows. Usually they go in a folder somewhere in the house because we don't need them in this bag uh, for the future shows anymore. But in this case, they can stay here. I have this toy which Eris should not see because the last time we went to the pet store she really wanted to have it so I thought I will buy it for her and hide it until we go to the actual show where in case I need to I can make her extra happy and excited. She saw it so I'm just going to so here we have napkins in case of accidents. Yeah, that's a lot of napkins, but you never know. And I have an anti-slip spray, which um, let's say if we go to a show, which is indoors and the floor is slippery, um, I can use this to make her more comfortable in the ring and make sure she doesn't slip. 
and we also have treats a lot of treats different types so that in case she gets bored of one type of treat i can always offer another one and make her excited again and we'll add one more bag of treats because why not it's good to have enough on top of that we will sleep there one night before the show i will probably work with eris i want to make her happy with new treats and for treats i am usually not too worried if they are on the junkier side even though I do my best to uh, choose ones with cleaner ingredients let's not forget that they're just treats life is short for our dogs and every once in a while they can have something more crappy but tasty after dinner it was time to wash the little pig she hasn't had a full shower for around two months and this show is a great excuse to give her one. Whippets are very clean dogs and they don't smell of anything other than a plush toy perhaps. I wash them whenever I feel they're dusty, before a show or when they do something to become super dirty. But if we show a few consecutive weekends, I obviously don't wash them before every show. Eris is a freak for water, which you will see in the next video, but she wants to feel free to express her love for diving whenever she decides. Making her take a shower is something she tolerates, but she'd obviously not ask for it. And of course she looks miserable and dramatic. We must show all of YouTube how tortured this little puppy is. While we are washing puppy, let me tell you a little bit about the shows we are attending and the dog show situation our country is in right now. Nearly two years back, our country's federation, or its president to be exact, left the FCI. The public excuse is bankruptcy, but sadly things are way deeper and sadder than that, but I will not speak on the details now. There are currently three candidates to become FCI members and get us back on track. But meanwhile, until one of them replaces the old federation, dogs that were born here can't get pedigrees. Hence why many ethical breeders, myself included, have paused their breeding program until there is a solution and it's so devastating to say the least. Still, the shows here are done under all FCI rules, with uh, often foreign FCI judges, but uh, they don't really make much sense for an adult dog, because any titles obtained there don't really count. But for puppies like Eris, who is a few days short from entering the adult classes and the real deal, they're perfect for practice. We'll be attending two shows, a national show and a specialty show of the Bulgarian Sidehound Club. She is still in puppy class and that means she can't compete with adult dogs within the same breed. Next weekend, however, everything changes because she will already be 9 months old and then she will be entered in junior class and I am so looking forward. Puppy is now showered and it's time to dry her, first with one type of towel, then with another one, which is amazing with taking the last bits of moisture out. For anyone wondering, those are simply microfiber towels. For the rest, she can dry on her own as it's still relatively warm, so there is no risk of her getting too cold. And off we go to my room so that she doesn't get too crazy and run outside to roll into something dirty which will ruin the purpose of my effort and back pain. That's the time she gets crazy and shows how angry she is with me for making her go through the hell of showering. And if you haven't seen a dog snort like a horse, here you go, just watch. <coughs>
morning after, which was Friday, it's time to pack our bags and go, as we have a six hour drive. For this show, I chose to wear a black suit. And then off we go on this adventure. Eris is always very calm in the car. She knows she's going somewhere nice and it doesn't matter where, as knock on wood so far, she hasn't had a single negative experience with trips that involve a car ride. She also knows not to leave her bed unless I say so, therefore an open car door doesn't mean we're going out. She hasn't been on a long trip for some time, so she expected we'll get to where we're going in 30 minutes, but unfortunately for her, we had five and a half hours more to go. I tried to give her something to do with some large treats I got as a gift from a recent order online, but these were not a hit, so she tried to hide them for later in time when I will perhaps magically disappear and there will be no one to feed her. Then we played with the toy for a little while. And after that, she finally realized we'll get there when we get there and gave up. We stopped in a city halfway to meet a friend. One challenge I have with her is that she takes forever to pee when she's on a leash. She has to sniff everything first, walk around the same area 50 times minimum until she finds the perfect spot. And no, despite all of my efforts, she didn't pee this time. There she also saw a cat, which she really wanted to meet, but cats are a no-no in my list of friends she can play with. Then it was time to move on with our trip, and I guess she thought that's what this long drive was all about, and was left with the impression we're going home, so she slept a lot this time. We passed by the super cool gas station, which was inspired by the Flintstones, and I guess Eris thought this amazing location was worth marking, so she finally peed. And around 7.30 pm we arrived at the hotel, which was not really a hotel, rather a bungalow, and was a bit of a disaster, but it was just for one night, so it didn't matter so much. We had guests and Eris was over the moon. She doesn't like people that much, but with dogs, big or small, she is such an extrovert. She wants everyone to be her friend, even though it's not possible, because, let's face it, not all dogs have an obligation to like her. There was also an Italian greyhound her age, but she was not a fan of Eris in any way, and for the safety of this fragile little hound, they had limited contact. A bit later, we had to go get something to eat, so my mom and sister were kind enough to get some food from a restaurant nearby. And even though Eris doesn't like anyone to go missing while we're at an unfamiliar location, it's most dramatic when I am gone, so I stayed with her. So we were waiting and waiting. We played a little game of biting. and I had the time to realize how many spiders were in this bungalow. But it was for one night only and it was right in front of the showground, so I got over it. Eris got bored of waiting at some point and then she fell asleep. But all of a sudden, the missing family members and the food arrived and she was happy again. She is a picky eater and wanted nothing to do with her kibble. To make sure she ate something different than treats this weekend, we had to order her a cooked steak to add to her regular food. Spoiled much? Early next morning, Puppy was up and ready for the next adventures, and we already started hearing more dogs arrive. But because we were so close to the showground, we had more time to sit back and relax. Since I like to be an early bird, we went there shortly after and Eris was excited. Did I mention she's a huge extrovert with dogs and wants to meet them all? 
That's why she needs some extra time at the show to settle and get used to the fact that we're not here to make everyone our friend. And as time went by, she settled as she always does and was happy enough to sit back and watch. And then our friends from the evening before arrived and Puppy gave them a proper welcoming, after which she was finally allowed to make a new friend. This handsome guy is a Barzoi puppy, just a few days younger than Eris. He was so sweet and gentle and seemed to love our young lady. And she had the time of her life getting attention from this young gentleman and jumping on his head. This child has no fear of any dog, it doesn't matter how large they are. She is cautious and makes sure the other one's intentions match hers, but as soon as they show her they like her and want to play, that's it, she is sold. And I like that, I'd rather have a show dog like her than one that is afraid of or hates other dogs. And then it was finally time to go in the ring. She doesn't like people that much as I said or she is rather not interested in them. She also doesn't like to be touched by random hands, however, as soon as she enters the show ring and Mr. or Mrs. Judge are about to examine her, she doesn't care that much because she knows it's a part of her job there, which is great for a show dog that's not so crazy about humans. It was a hot day, but she did so well, and the judge had many nice things to say about her, including this dog can really move well. If you have an eye for a dog or some knowledge on confirmation, you would probably agree with him. And so she got her best puppy of breed. I rewarded her with her surprise toy, which I showed you earlier. And then it was time to go back to the main ring for the best in show puppy competition where she was a little tired at this point but still did great and cooperated enough to show herself wonderfully. Here she ended up third which I was very happy about. Don't think that's the end of the show because we had another one coming right afterwards and that was the Sighthound specialty. On our way to the ring she met her little boyfriend again who gave her lots of good luck kisses and I think this worked wonders because she once more showed great. It even started raining but this doesn't stop Eris from being her confident self. After winning best of breed puppy, she finished the day with best in show puppy, which I was so very proud of. That was her last show in puppy class and I was really hoping we'd finish it off with a nice best in show, so my wish came true. And after that, since shows should be mostly about having fun, that's exactly what we did and had a lot of fun with her rabbit fluff. And then it was time to go home, she fell asleep the moment her butt touched the seat and slept almost throughout the whole trip, where we were caught by a crazy storm, but regardless we arrived home safe and sound at 10 pm. This puppy brings me so much joy and the fact that she enjoys shows so much is a great win in itself. As I've said before, my main goal is to teach her that we can have fun there and I believe that this time we managed to achieve this once more. And next weekend or tomorrow, by the time you're watching this video, it will be her very first show in junior class and also her first one indoors and I think this will be fun. And I will make sure to document everything.
I think it's time to conclude this video here because my voice starts to disappear from so much talking. So I wish you a lovely weekend and a fantastic week afterwards and I will see you next Friday with a new video. Bye-bye!